Hello everyone, this is Steve with Astro's Freeze-Dried Candy uh, and Bayou Honey. Uh, we've kind of branched out to uh, freeze-dried candy. As you can see, we have the uh, freeze dryers right in front of you. Uh, what we're going to be covering today is how to fix vacuum leaks uh, for good. Um, we, we get machines in uh that are broke sometimes the uh, vacuum uh, just won't uh, just won't work uh all kinds of problems and i noticed a lot of people online have problems with the vacuum uh, i've got a, a cheat sheet here uh, a list of stuff um what we're going to do it's been a while since i've made a video so you're going to have to kind of bear with me um and send questions in if if you need to uh, we'll we'll answer everybody's questions or we, we try to at least so this is the machines. We got eight of them here. Uh, one at the house that we uh, we operate. Uh, all of these machines work excellent. Uh, no vacuum issues. Not not said. I didn't get them with without vacuum issues. But uh, the way we have things set up here, kind of run you down. Um, we normally have these fans blowing like this. What it does? Uh, let me see if we can. Okay. What it does? It'll actually. Uh, pull some of the hot air out and push it back this way which cools off the pump because if we didn't the hot air off of this machine would go into the intake of this machine we had pieces of cardboard before that that worked okay but the fans work really well and these are just cheap ten dollar fans from uh, Wally World so nothing, nothing uh, really big or expensive about that okay uh, we're gonna get right into this is gonna be a long video we're gonna get right into it Okay, I don't if I keep dropping stuff. Um, one of the things, and this one just finished up a a load um, of uh, let's see here. Okay, this one just finished up some sweet potatoes. You know, we we put sweet potatoes in rings, and I will cover that under another video. A lot of times, what happens is, and I'm gonna have to take this camera off off of the mount so I can do this. My apologies. It's been a while since I made a video, so my apologies. Okay, so if you look right here, you'll see a, actually a little cutout in the rubber ring. Okay, we found on this machine right here, as one on each side, not on the top, just on the bottom. We found on this machine to where the actual rubber was, was hitting the edge um, of the tray right there. And it wasn't let, when this, when this thing pulled a vacuum, uh, it wasn't letting the rubber go all the way back, so I got a knife and cut it out, and so that eliminated that problem. That helped with the vacuum. Sometimes you'll find that in the vacuum errors. Uh, this is probably not the best machine to show this, but um, one of the one of the other things um, we're going to want to take and show is whenever you get the ring off, and you can see uh where we cut cut the the it's just back about maybe three eighths of an inch you know like that and just a sharp knife just be careful and cut yourself okay one of the things you're gonna take in now this this one's still frozen in there we're gonna have to go to another machine all righty nothing like live video okay so this one let me see here all right and the reason we, we cock these sideways um, is whenever it's uh, defrosting, uh, any uh, water won't collect on the top of the tray. It just goes off to the side and goes out the back. And we never, we just close the door. We don't latch it uh, after uh, that way you don't get any mold uh, build up in here because you will get mold build up. Okay, one of the things you're going to want to check for uh, and when you're doing your vacuum checking, okay, if you hear uh, the tray right here, you hear it metal on metal to the back, and you're going to want to take it about a knuckle's worth right here. Okay, so when you pull the tray out, it's going to have the cord right here. All right, you probably can see that. What we normally do, because if you just push the cord in the back, the cord will get between this in the back wall and it won't let the tray go all the way back i don't know if you can see this but I get my finger we just keep the cord 
All right, let me see if I can get this to go higher. Okay. Yeah, maybe so. Okay. All right. So, excuse my... Okay, we'll show this one more time. Okay. When you go to put your tray, and this is up for all sizes, when you go to put your tray back in, you want to take and make sure your cord is up on top and just grab it like your fingers and just work this back with your fingers just like this. Okay, and you can, you can hear that metal on metal. Then you know it's, it's all the way to the back and this won't be sticking out too far. Like I said, you're going to want it back about a first, first knuckle. Alright, and I'll put that back later on. Okay, one to the th another thing we are going to. Alright. You know, like I said, you have to see, see the, the fans, how we got them set up. And they'll, they'll, they're all like that, even the ones on, on the bottom, they're all like that. We run, we like the Premier pumps. I've tried every pump out there, uh, the little small one, the Eagle. I've tried everything, and that's a that's a back view of, of you know behind the machines here. All right. So, and you know from from the drain, you know all the way down to the cat litter bucket catches the water. Works great. All right. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. So we're going to try our best. So it's well worth the. Well worth waiting on, you know, the, on the video here. Okay, one of the things that you're going to want to do. Ah, crap. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right, we're back. Okay. Uh, one of the, some of the things you, you're going to have to have is liquid tape. Get you a fresh container of liquid tape. Uh, you can get this at um, Lowe's, maybe Walmart, uh, just about any Ace hardware. This is a pretty common item. And you're going to want to use a fresh can of this right here. Okay. Uh, Timflex, I guess it's called rubber splicing tape. The rubber, the tapes, uh, it's kind of like a black electrical tape. It's got, some, it's got some elasticity to it. And we'll show you, you know, how we use this. And this is this is some of it right here. It's got a coating. You have to peel the coating off, and then it'll it'll stretch. It stretches out. Okay. One of the things after you take the back of the freeze dryer off, uh, you're going to want to replace those silly ass uh, hex screws. And this is what we use. We use the machine screws. It's a 10 24 by half inch. Uh, we buy these at the local hardware store. A box of 100, I think. It's maybe like what 549 a box you know so we we replace those screws uh with phillips head screws a lot easier to take off when you need to take them off okay so let's look at this i wish i had a machine that was open i could show you um what we're gonna do is okay one of the things you're gonna have to do okay some of the points that we are going to have to, or that we are going to seal up, that will give you problems in the vacuum, and this is going to be a full-blown uh, vacuum uh, repair. Okay, uh, right here, you'll have uh, problems right here, right here. Okay, um, and inside, inside the hose, if you notice, there is a little r rubber O-ring. All right, we use what we call Nylox, I think it is, and I get this off of uh, Amazon, I think. Yeah, Nylog Blue uh, gasket and thread sealant. You just put just a little bit on your finger in a thin coat around this, okay, um, and around the uh, fitting on the pump, you know, just a thin coat, and screw this back on, okay. Please do not put a pair of pliers on this. This is hand tight, all right, and if you're if you can't really get it hand tight, uh, a good hand tight, okay, you can take a pair, uh, kind of just, you know, pair of pliers like this, all right, and on there just to where it's, it barely, barely, barely moves. For people that have weak hands, um, yeah, but don't put a pair of pliers on it and really wrench down on it. It wasn't designed for that. You'll crush the O-ring in there and then you have problems. What we're going to do, we're going to seal up this this we're going to seal up this 
right here if you can see that. I don't know if we'll be able to see that or not. We're going to seal up this. We're going to seal up this. We're going to seal up that. We're going to seal up this right here. We're going to seal up this right there. Okay. And we can take a quick look over here. This machine's been sealed. This was the one I got in from Harvest Right, and it had a horrible vacuum leak and stripped the machine down and we went to work on it all right you can see the uh, liquid tape and that stretchy tape uh, is put around there you can see a little bit of the liquid tape right there we reason we use the liquid tape and not rtv rtv is not real pliable you need to get something that gets down in the cracks and you have to do this under a vacuum it will not work if you don't do it under a vacuum Okay, uh, after the liquid tape dries, we normally the next day we'll come in here and put the stretchy tape around it and we'll show you how to do that. Another point is going to be right there. That's a uh, common problem area um, that, that we found. If you look at it, it came from the factory with some clear RTV. I, I do not like RTV at all. Stuff, it's not made... Um, I love the people at Harvest Right. The the tech guys are, are fantastic. Uh, I've taught them something. They've taught me something. So it's it's a good thing. What we're gonna have to do is take the tape uh, off of here and the foam. Alrighty, uh, we've got a lot of this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, all right. We've got a lot of this RTV. All of this RTV has the taking. It has to come out. All right, we're back. Uh, it looks like probably 99% of the RTV, uh, the clear RTV, is out of there. Okay, uh, which is which was what you want. You want? Whoops, wrong way. My apologies. All right, um, that's clean. Uh, I cleaned off all the extra uh, debris. It looks like they put some it hardener adhesive of some sort you know on uh, that gray stuff right here so you know that's all off uh, as best I can get it all the loose stuff so it's ready to uh, it's ready to go okay I hope you can hear me over the pump <clears throat> what we did we went into the test function on the main screen and uh, just put the pump on nothing else just just the pump itself that way is whenever we apply this liquid tape, it's under vacuum. And if there's any little minute micro uh, gaps or cavities or whatever, this liquid tape is being as liquid as it is, will get sucked into that and it and it will work, it works quite effectively. Um, a whole lot better than RTV. RTV will not work for the die-hard RTV people will save you argument it does not work all right so this has got a little um, who it's got a strong smell um, it's got a little brush on the end of it okay and you can see how I'm doing this it just dab it in really 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 well I mean, just dab, dab it in. Don't, don't spare. Don't be uh, shy. Just dab, dab it in. Okay, just like that. You want to dab, dab it in there to where it really, really gets in there. It gets in there really, really, really well. Okay, I can't say really, really, really enough. But you know, and you want to go on the outside too and do that along where the the wires go in and where the threads go around oops it may get a little messy not a big deal um, you're going to want to go around that and around where your vacuum sensor screws in to i know they've got tape on the vacuum sensor you know etc etc but you really want to get this stuff in there to where it looks like it's too much, but believe me, it's not. Um, it's really get it's really getting in there. Okay, just like that. And you can pretty it up a little bit if you want to. But for the people that really don't care, that one effectiveness that this works. 
All right, and then get around this side over here and see. Okay, yeah, we missed a spot over here. Kind of, you know, and we missed a spot over here where the. Okay. And the vacuum pump is running, and the doors closed, the whole nine yards is sealed. Okay, so that'll do it for that. All right, uh, I'll wear a little pair of gloves. As you can see the gloves, you know, the just the cheap gloves. Not that I mind getting the stuff on because I was an aircraft mechanic and we used to get covered in Pro Seal all the time. But just kind of helps with the cleanup. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it looks like it's got all the way around it and in between, in between the wires, really well. And this stuff will stay pliable for a while. Uh, I can't stress this area, the importance of this area right here. All right, and you you want it on there pretty thick. All right. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm going to reposition the camera over here. All righty. Um, Excuse the, the back and forth. I've got it on a little tripod right here. All right. And the underside right there. Ah, yeah, we can see pretty good. I'm going to have to go get some more gloves. Okay, we're back. Um, the pump is still running. Like I said, I'm going to let the pump run for 24 hours. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything if you're having problems with vacuums sometimes the vacuum pump needs to break in uh, they'll tell you uh, Steve you full of BS uh, blah 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 my last two pumps that I got with the last two brand new machines that I bought I had to they wouldn't pull um, a uh, Amtor below oh, I've got it written down here like 13 1349 so what I did, I sealed up the machine, turned the pump on, put it on test, let the pump run uh, for basically uh, 24 hours. When I came in the next, the next day, the pump was down. It was pulling about 250 mTORs, so it does work. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the same googie puck. Let me make sure we, we're still in here. Yep, okay. We're gonna take the same liquid tape and put around this right there okay and don't don't be scared of this stuff it's not gonna kill you it's not gonna hurt you you just don't want to eat it or anything for sure but um, it'll smell a little funky yeah but just get it right there in that in that area really good you want to seal in seal up where the threads are you know just like that hopefully you can see it um, and we'll get around the, we may have to go around the other side but we should be able to you know get this done this enough to where I should it should be good all right and my apologies for making such a, a amateur video but I hadn't made a video in a while so you got to bear with me and okay and then we're gonna do it right up under here okay we're gonna do it under here you'll be surprised how many times you'll find that you've got a leak in the dead gum hose right there with the fittings these are compression type uh, fittings um, and if it's leaking it'll get this liquid tape will get sucked up in there and it will seal it up okay under here because it's got a pivot joint right there all right I can say this is not real hard to do, but it takes a little bit of, you know, getting the getting the liquid tape in that area. And do not try this with RTV; it's not going to work. Um, so, whoops, I get a little messy. Okay, we're going to let this dry for 24 hours. All right, the pump's going to run for 24 hours at the other end of the hose down here. 
I'm not making, let me see here. Okay. At the other end of this hose. All right. Okay. Right there. We're going to seal this, this up as well. Now, we normally change, I uh, hadn't gone to the hardware store yet, and this is a new machine. We normally change these valves out and use the gas valve. Uh, this one's working, um, so we really don't have to. I don't have a problem with this machine. Uh, this one right here was a problem child. Uh, this is an electrical nightmare. Um, somehow or another, wires got put on uh, wrong, and uh, the, the, I called tech support. Uh, they called me right back. Um, you know, uh, they, got, they got a lot on their plate, so you know, I have to give them a, a little bit of time. You know. And okay, so this one right here is, is sealed up pretty good. You see how we put the liquid tape all the way around it like that, okay? And um, we're gonna put this, I'm, a, I'm gonna do this later on, but I'm gonna change this valve out and we're gonna put liquid tape around it right here and around the threads, but I'm not gonna do that right now. All right, so we're gonna reposition this, okay? I can get liquid tape all over my camera equipment that'll be all right oh boy okay um all righty let's see here okay we're just about there okay all right so what we're going to do now the new machines uh this one piece that comes down and it goes off right here so you don't need to do this but if you got an older machine like this one right here this is a brand new machine that was a scratch and dent so it's been around for a while they switched over to a new style um, they don't have this this uh, this fitting right here but if you do have the fitting okay um, seal it up you know you can put a wrench on it make sure it's good and tight uh, before you do this uh, and you seal it seal it up it's not gonna hurt anything all right we're gonna do this I'll probably have to go around the other side and you just want to dab it in there really well again don't be scared of this stuff. Uh, don't be, uh, you know, use it. That's what it's there for. All right. They may make another product similar to this. I don't know. Uh, I know this works. It's cheap enough. You can get it just about any any hardware store, like Ace Hardware, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, any electrical department. All right. I'm gonna go around the other side and finish this up. Yeah, I have to wear glasses. Yeah. That's what happens when you get old. Stay young and beautiful and handsome. Don't get old. Kind of sucks, but hey, it is part of life. All right. Um, and we're going to get on the other side over here. And we're going to take them. And this will look uh, look ugly right now. But after we put that, that stretchy tape on it, it'll it'll smooth right out. And one thing nice about the liquid tape uh, is it stays flexible. So when these machines, because you, you, you're looking at a, a really cold temperature, minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, um, RTV is not pliable enough to get down in the cracks. Uh, some of the other epoxies that they use is too stiff and they just, they'll just sit there and crack in, your, in, a, in the same boat that you're in, you know, uh, when you started. So um, we can kind of clean this up a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, so let me check this while I'm over here. This one, yeah, okay, got it right there. Looks good. Okay. Alrighty, so um, I think that was it. The there's only a couple of places that this the the machine if it's going to leak it's going to leak uh, and if you systematically take care of them um, it'll 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 be a good machine these are good machines to begin with I've, I've had problems with them but you know I've had problems with brand new automobiles too which cost a hell of a lot more money you know a lot of people sit there and rag on the company and, and this and that you know oh, it was a brand new machine I shouldn't have problems with it blah 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 well welcome to life you know um they produce in a lot of these machines for what for what we can get out of these machines and the 
critical need for them right now to, to put away food. Yes, I am a prepper. Um, and, uh, you know, right now is the time not to complain about the machines. Just fix it and go about our business, okay? All right, uh, let me get my notes and run down my notes right, right fast. I'm going to put you guys on pause for a minute. Okay, uh, we're back again. All right, I kind of zoomed in on the... Uh, yeah, it looks pretty horrible. What you can do if you want to, if you're a neat freak, you can actually take some uh, Windex and wet your finger. And after this is somewhat dry, after about an hour, you can kind of tap it down with your finger. But I I'd prefer it to be perfect. Besides, you're gonna put tape around it. Well, you're not gonna put tape around the top. You're just gonna leave it just like that. Okay, so let's go over a couple of uh, my notes right here. Uh, the O-ring and the hose ends. Make sure the O-rings are in there. They're not pinched, they're not cut or anything. And use some of that uh, Nylox. All right, uh, just a little bit and smear on your finger. And make sure that's nice and, you know, you can put some on the threads too. And make sure the, uh, uh, the uh, ends are snug, okay? Fresh oil uh, in your pump. Dirty oil will diminish vacuum capacity. What we do a lot of times here, we run 99% candy, and we do some stuff for ourselves. But most of our, our, our stuff is candy, and we'll run it until I see the, uh, the um, mTOR start creeping up, then we'll change the oil, unless it's real dirty. Uh, we do not do pickles. Pickles uh, are horrible for, on these machines, especially for the oil. I mean, it just, you know. The front seal, make sure you take your seal off every now and again. Uh, turn it upside down where uh, there's a little um, the crack in there and run some uh, some hot water through it just to kind of make sure there's no debris in it uh, the tray rack all right make sure the rack is all the way to the back like I had showed you okay um, a new machine a break in uh, and set the set up the pump uh, and just set it on test and let it run all night long you'd be surprised it, it will take an, an and actually go down in M tours. Uh, the drain valve, I, I didn't replace this one yet. I've got to go to the store and get get some. Um, but we normally replace the drain valve. Number one, the those valves that they put on there, they're they're decent. You know they work. Uh, but the other yellow valves, which is a three eighths gas valve, we actually use those because it's easy to turn. Because I got a couple ladies that work with me, and it, they have a hard time turning the valves. All right. Um, Seal and tape all threaded points, okay? Uh, the drum drain, the hose, and both ends. Uh, seal and drain valves and hose, and the hose crimps themselves. Um, seal the heated tray leads that goes into the drum. Remove all or old RTV, clean the area. Again, use your Nylox, your liquid tape, and your stretchy tape. Uh, clean around uh, the through fitting really well, which is the, the drum fitting there. Um, the vacuum sensor, clean around it uh, and, and put uh, your liquid tape all around this. Now ensure this is done under vacuum. Um, and like I said, we don't have, normally have a problem with our vacuum. Um, not, after, not after we do this. That's, this will eliminate. The, this machine here, uh, let's see, whoops, wrong way. Alright, you have to bear with me. Um, this one right here, I couldn't get under 800, uh, 1300, whatever it was, mTORs. Now it, it goes down to about 178, uh, 180, something like that. It's a phenomenal machine. And this is a new style, which has got the, uh, all the circuitry and stuff on a, on a tray that you can actually take out, which is pretty cool, you know, actually. Um, here's a... Here's a shot of, uh, it's this really good shot, but you can see where we actually cut out, we cut that out right there. And because this, this seal uh, will actually go back about maybe a quarter of an inch because the vacuum pushes the seal back. And if this seal is hitting against the tray right there, it's not gonna wanna take and seal all the way. So um, that helped. Um, okay, um, let's see here may have to cut out the rubber uh, check for burrs and defects on a rubber seal the groove watch to see if the seal uh, mashes and hits the tray rack okay um, you know one of the things you know they do a pretty good job of cleaning these things up the the, the area right there okay sometimes you'll get a burr that may maybe they miss or, or something happen you know you check for that all right uh, keep your seals clean 
uh, every so every so often take the seal out wash it in the hot water um, okay and you can see another here's another shot of, of where the where the cutout is yeah you can see a little bit of the cutout right there okay all right um, I hope this helps and you got questions or comments please uh, don't hesitate to uh, throw out throw out a question or a comment if you have any more subjects you want us to cover uh, it's not too much we haven't done on these things we've replaced the compressors uh, we've, we've done basically everything. We've replaced the motherboards, the relays, the relay boards, the motherboards, the actual uh, touch pads. There's not much we haven't re replaced on these, so uh, we don't know, we don't profess to know everything, but we can keep, we sure can keep these things running. Uh, please subscribe, and if, and if you, this helped, uh, and if you want to, um, throw out a, uh, throw out a, a, a few bucks for a, uh, you know, as a gratuity. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, but thank you. For, I do thank you for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. Okay, we're back for a quick uh, um, short uh, section of the video here. I just took some of the uh, tape, that fancy smancy tape here. Uh, I peel the, it's kind of hard to get this off, but you peel it off, right, just like that. And it stretches. It's a it's a stretchy tape. I can show that in there. It's just stretchy tape. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it and kind of stretch it and wrap it around like that and pull on it, stretching it as you wrap it. You may have to practice this a little bit, but it, it actually seals this up really, really well. You can stretch and pull and stretch and pull, and it tightens up and just stretch it to the very end. And then you take the, the end of the tape, like this one right here, gave loose a little bit. You take the end of the tape like that, you stretch it, and you pull, pull down tight. And it, so we'll do another. We'll do another piece where you can see it, and you can see this was still uh, a little bit on the on the wet side, normally kind of like to let it dry, but I'm pushing it just a little bit because I wanted to show you that stretchy part right there. Um, I mean, this isn't the best thing, but you can see a little bit like that, okay. Just kind of stretched around there, and that's kind of stretched around there. All right. Okay, we're gonna do the end of the hose. Uh, and there's no front and back back to this tape. It, you know, they just put the um, cover just to keep the tape from from sticking uh, on onto itself. So what we do is pull pull it kind of where it's stretchy already. You can you can see how it it stretches like that. We'll kind of pre-stretch it a little bit and get it. Whoops, it's going to move on. The, okay kind of get it like that where we can get it started you may need some help wrapping around can you see that all right I don't know, my hands in a way but you'll see oh, okay all right not the best but yeah you'll see how it it goes around like that and then stretch 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 it tight and wrap it all the way around and hold your thumb down on on where the end of it is for you know for a few seconds like that um, and that'll help the the tape bond to itself you know so I hope this helps you guys um, and we'll we'll do one more where we can see where it's got a lot of light uh, when the other, other area over here but this really the combination of these two items right there really does a good job I mean, really, 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 really does a good job. All right. All righty. So we're gonna do the top piece right here. It looks like it's 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 dry enough. So maybe we can get a better better shot. We're gonna take and stretch this out, kind of pre-stretch it. All right, like that, and then we'll put it over here and stretch this around like that. And really give it a good, a good tight stretch and pull and tighten right on top like that. 
can. You may go three or four wraps around it. Okay. Like this. Okay. And I know I'm hitting the camera. My apologies for that. But, alright. And good. And right there with the end, you just kind of roll your thumb back and forth on that to where it really adheres to itself. And that's what the tape is supposed to do. Uh, and if you find that the end pops off, it may have gotten a little bit of trash on it, you can take some regular black electrical tape and then wrap over the top of that to kind of hold it in place. We're going to do the bottom right here. Uh, that way, you know, we'll show you, show you an extra one. All right, hang on. Okay, I got another piece of tape cut, as you can see right here. We're going to take and give it a good pull and stretch over like that. Okay, so it's wrapped over itself. We're going to give it another good pull and we're going to go up high with it. Another good pull. And it's really not that hard to do once you get used to it. Like just a little bit. And right there on the end, we're going to hold. You know, we're going to hold that that end um, right there. We're going to hold it. And I guarantee you, if you do that, you know, now you can't do that. I guess you could do it up on top of here, but we normally don't. Um, uh, you know, but if these these other joints like that, if you do that, you know, and if you still have a major vacuum leak, you got a, a crack in the wheel uh, inside the drum, uh, unless you got a bad pump. But uh, this should be, yeah, you know, this should do it. I mean, this this is uh, this this is pretty uh, significant uh, fix. Alrighty, well, thank you again. Hello, everyone. This is Steve again. Uh, this one last segment we wanted to do, uh, and I totally forgot. Uh, we did find a couple of bad hoses. Uh, we've got this hose installed on on this unit here, and. Uh, I kind of snugged it up just a little bit more than, than normal uh, using the pliers that you're not supposed to use. All right? I kind of snugged it up which would be a, a good He-Man size uh, tightness. Okay, You don't want to wrench it down so much that you, you end up stripping the, the, the knurling off of, off of this right here. But what I wanted to show you is both of these are tight and we've got the nylog uh, and I can't uh, can't stress you know the importance of using this a little bit on your finger um, on the on the face of the and on the threads the face of the uh, fitting and, and on the threads uh, goes a long way okay all right so this is tight and you see how this rolls this is not supposed to be I people may argue with me and that's fine uh, I'll, I'll do the argument all day long you see this one over here on this side right here it's 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 moving as well okay uh, you see right here where it's where it's moving okay this right here is a bad hose we had this on a unit and we never could get um, a good vacuum and we went down and we checked everything uh, twice uh, and it's like okay let me take a, a, a hose off of a unit that is working that I, that is known working and problem went away and the only difference is the other ones okay whenever you, you whenever you snug this down even by hand uh, this is tight it won't move okay uh, and this is the hose that came off of this unit right here um, I don't know where the hose came from but I do know it ended up you know in on the line here with the with the rest of the units and uh, ordered two brand new hoses from Harvest Right and I checked them when they came in uh, you know so that that should complete the video on uh, all your vacuum issues uh, if you have any questions uh, you know please uh, post them and I get a notification on my email whenever somebody posts well I should sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but for the most part it works and uh, you know if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate to you know uh, give me a holler and I hope this fixes if, if all of these fixes we did in this video doesn't work you've actually probably got a crack in the weld somewhere um, you know because we've eliminated just about everything from A to Z okay with that being said thank you again and uh, good luck with your uh, your freeze drying